Lee Newcomb is a construction worker from Brentwood in Essex. His current job involves hard labour and long hours, so he wants to change direction and pursue a career as a bus driver. Today, Lee sits his PCV theory test. When a candidate arrives at the centre, the first thing we need to do is to check that he's prepared for the test as far as the security items, etc. are concerned. One is what's called the new photo card licence, which consists of two parts, a plastic ID card and a paper sheet that goes with it. They're not allowed to test unless they bring both parts of their licence. Still living at this address? Yes. We ask all the candidates to put the items that they brought with them into the lockers, where obviously they're going to be safe while they're here. We also ensure, of course, one of the prime things that must go in there is their mobile phone switched completely off. Kevin, who I've been learning to drive with, has given me a CD run from the DSA uh, for the, the questions and everything that we need to learn to pass this test. And he's also given me a uh, hazard perception test CD run. You nervous? Yeah, just a little. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite nervous, yeah. As you do in all tests, you get, get a little bit of butterflies. So hopefully I'll pass and they'll be gone. Once we've satisfied ourselves at the front desk here that everything's in order and the candidate is ready and comfortable, then he's passed over to my colleague who's going to actually invigilate his test. If you'd like to go into workstation number four, okay. when you go in, if you can just confirm your name is correct on the screen, and then press the next button when you're ready to start the test. OK. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The theory test is divided into two parts taken separately, a multiple choice module and a hazard perception module. For the hazard perception test, Lee is shown a short tutorial video that explains how the test works. He then has 28 minutes to complete his assessment of 19 video clips. Each clip, shown from a driver's point of view, contains one or more developing hazards. There are 20 scorable hazards in total. The pass mark is 67 out of a possible 100 points. The multiple choice test consists of 100 questions. The candidate has 115 minutes in which to complete the test, but additional time is given to get used to the system. Most questions asked require one correct answer from four possible answers given. The pass mark is 85 correct answers out of 100 questions. If they've got a problem of any sort, they can raise their hand. I can then go in and try and assist them with that problem. Occasionally we have problems with uh, language. We get a number of candidates who need voiceovers, that is to say headphones, and the test is read to them in their native tongue. There's your result. Yeah, I passed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. I didn't think I passed it, I didn't. <laughs> So I'm really happy with that. There was a few questions that I wasn't sure, so I went back to have a look at them. I did change one or two of them, and hopefully they're the ones that helped me pass. Having passed his theory test, Lee now needs intensive PCV driver training to ensure a pass at his practical test.